Islam's Black Slaves. Let's go inside the book, please. Uh, zoom into the highlight section. The first is just the whole section. The go ahead, read that. The practice of slavery. Though I am a slave, my soul is nobly free. Though I am black of color, my character is white. Blackness does not diminish me. Because the Arabs had an issue with being black. Go ahead. As long as I have this tongue and this stout heart, some are raised by means of their lineage. The verses of my poems are my lineage. How much better a keen-minded, clear-spoken black than a mute white? Mm -hmm. This was a black poet that wrote that. Read that next section. One scholar argues that it was the great Zan's Rebellion which led to a hardening of attitudes against blacks. If you ever look up the Zanj Rebellion, Zanj means black. Over in Iran, Iraq, those areas, we rebelled against the Arabs when they had us in slavery. It was a huge war that nobody talks about. I mean, we, and it took a long time. Ultimately, we lost the war against them. That was God's prophecy. But we could not stand being enslaved. We rose up against oppression, degradation, being raped and pillaged. They hated our guts and we hated their guts too. So when you get a chance, look up the Zange Rebellion. You could even Google it if you want. It's there. Okay, right. They were slaughtering us. And we was killing them and they was killing us. This was over in, I think it was Iran. Go to the next one. Go back. Read that. Come on, read. One scholar argues that it was the Great Zand Rebellion, which led to a hardening of attitudes against blacks. So they had a, a bad attitude against us. Go ahead, because we rebel. What, you do not like being a slave? Habib, I made you, I treat you good. I cut your penis off. I treat you good. Yeah, you cut my penis off. That's what I'm going to kill you. Go ahead, I'm sorry. That the black Africans came to be held in contempt in spite of the teaching of Islam. Yeah, to hell with the teachings of Islam. And there, and there emerged in Islam literature many previously unknown themes expressing a negative attitude towards blacks. Y'all see that? Read, give me the next page. The use of slave eunuchs. You know what a eunuch is when they cut your penis and your balls off. That's what they, they did that to thousands of us so that we could not procreate. So that we could dedicate ourselves to them. It emasculates you. You know what that is? Your whole devotion was to your master. You didn't have no desire for a woman. Read that again. The use of slave eunuchs as concubines. Stop! Y'all know what a concubine is? A lesser wife. They use the boy, the men as lesser wives. Read it again. The use of slave eunuchs as concubines by some merchants in 19th century Morocco points to a feature of Islamic society that affected the treatment of young male slaves. See that? That affected the treatment of young male slaves. Hmm, go ahead. Whether they were eunuchs or not. Oh, so you didn't even have to have your penis cut off. They said, I like you and I want you. Allah Akbar. <laughs> Jump down. Hodgson explains, sex between males entered pervasively into the ethic and aesthetic of upper classes. That's them rich Arabs. Go ahead. As in some classical Athenian circles, it was assumed that a handsome adolescent, beardless, youth, or even a younger boy was naturally attractive to any full-grown man, and that the man would have sexual relations with him if the occasion arose. Great, 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 great. You know what that means? My wife, one of my five wives, they all got their period. I can't get none tonight, so come here, little boy. Come here, Habib. Come here, Raheem. Come here. Go ahead, that's what it means. For instance, if the youth were his slave, alongside sex relations with his women, many love lyrics, particularly in Persia, were conventionally and explicitly addressed by male poets to males. So some of their poetry, their lyrics, it was men singing to men. You would think like, like the, well, let me believe Luther Vandross alone. He's gone. I'll leave him alone. Go ahead, read yet, on. Yet, Hodgson adds, the Muslim stereotype of such sexual relations answered the idea of the sex act as an act of domination. Yes, that's like in jail. You know in jail, um, you're the dominant one, so you're not gay. No, both of you are. Go ahead. Right. The adult male. The room got quiet, but go ahead. The adult male, as the lover, enjoyed a youth 
Probably anally. Probably what? Probably anally. <laughs> Who was, in principle, passive. And while the relation was only improper, at most licentious, for the lover, it was very dishonorable for the youth who was enjoyed, who thus allowed himself to be cast in a woman's role. You can't make this stuff up. 